everybody and welcome to Zach103 TV. Today we're going to be doing uh, Homestead Miami, the spring race, our uh, pole sitter, who today uh, is going to be starting pole, Vince Freeze. He led the most laps in the spring, we'll note there. Uh, so he's definitely one to watch for sure. Uh, starting second, Jeremy Ferrer, Phoenix winner. Hasn't really done anything since, uh, failed to make the playoffs. Nazrael Dreamer, who's had some decent flashes of talent. Uh, with that top three starting position, has definitely been one of those. And Caden Williams, who has uh, two CCS wins, decided to move down to the NCCRS. He's looking to get his get a win for this season. Uh, his plans for next year are not really too far announced, but he is expected to return Salamander Inc. Um, starting fifth, Cooper. I don't know. Not a whole lot of news, but uh, last week we only had four playoff drivers finish the race. That was Space Guide. Thunder 24 fan, Brock Nelson, and Kyler Sustre. And to lock into the round of eight after this race, to get you have to have 44 um, points above the cut line after this race to lock into the next round um, and not have to worry about next week, which I believe uh, next week is going to be at Pocono. So that's going to be... Uh, Probably a track you don't want to be having too many troubles at, as we did our second race of the CCS season there, and it was actually not bad, but we had a couple bad wrecks there that were pretty notable, but I won't go too far into that. Pocono is next week, we'll see how it goes, but um, seeing only eight driver, only four drivers of the in the playoffs finish that race, uh, only 10, uh, 12 or 13, I th or no, we had a... We had 11 DNF last week, eight of which were playoff drivers. So the luck there was not present, but that's what happened. So other than Kyler Sustrade, Brock Nelson, Thunder 24 Fan, and Space Guide, it's they're they're all kind of at the same spot. They're all tied for dead last right now. But you have four drivers that are to the good. Notably, Space Guide and Thunder 24 Fan, they're just points away from being locked into the next round they pretty much uh, need to withhold where they're at specifically space guide Turn 24 we need to stay 44 above the cut line he's currently 41 so they'll have to have some good races here today to lock in not have to worry about pocono but even if they don't pocono they can still have a decent race to make it in but we've seen uh especially at michigan when drivers are trying to make it into the playoffs initially that Doing that is very important. Um, then Brock Nelson, Sustre, kind of, they're all right right now. We'll see how they do today. But uh, highest starting playoff driver is 12th, so that's another stat. And everyone behind that, we'll figure out later. But uh, usually we have them start at least a few in the top 10, but none today. Highest starting 12th is Rubina Gonzalez, who almost won Richmond, but got screwed by a lap car. LJ Toledo, who did get eliminated from the round of 16. Uh, but uh, he's here today. He's going to try to make it to the round of eight. And we'll see what happens for that double zero team. We got 27 laps. And uh, we'll see how they do. And uh, we got Dark X Rain in the booth with us today. You got any initial thoughts? Well, you mostly hit everything on the head. We have like Riley Gores. He's our first top qualifying driver who's trying to get more points. To get a better results than last week's race at Papyrus Motorsports Park. And I think I see Sundan who's out there as well. Who's also trying to finish better than last week's. Yeah, he did not finish at all last week. I needed to rather course. He's yeah, good old. Got two in a row. Flames. One at Michigan and Date or Talladega to end off the regular season. He's trying to make it to the round of eight. Possible win the championship. Road tracing. Yep, yeah, because you already talked about Space Guy. And he was literally close to winning last week's race. Yep. So he's going to be third. the one to look out for. I think he finished third. And he's just a few yeah. points from locking in. Uh, looks like we're about to get the command here in just a few seconds. Then we'll go more on a spiel after that. Driver, All right, that's so words in motorsports. Engine. Man has been given. Well, I guess for the non-playoff drivers, all they are is to 
finish off the season, hopefully with a win, and hopefully hope for the best for the next season. Yep. But as for the fail drivers, it's to stay out of trouble, find the best groove, and hopefully gather enough points to make it into the round of eight. Yep. Uh, Note: Top eleven are non-playoff drivers. So, let's see what happens. Again, 27 laps to duke it out. Every point's a lap. Every lap's a point. All right. As we in the sunset of Miami, I got old homestead. As we wait for the flag man, and we are green at Homestead, Miami. And we see Freeze gets a little of a gap running at the bottom. Look like he, yep, he pretty much got it. It's a battle for fourth at the moment. Yep, between the three and the three. Count three did not get a great start. Already almost falling back to fourth. Well, they're going to get oh, the run really? on the top on the oh, 30 right. car. And the back, the 19 of Jimmy. Oh, yeah, Jimmy Star. And all the way back Jimmy. in 22nd. They're all 16th now. He's already gained a few spots on the initial start, but that top line's going to get a run there. Yeah, but like the high lane is the best lane around this track. Yeah, so far, so good. Guys are almost really even out. As we're on Brian Webb, if he's behind one of our playoff drivers of, I want to say, oh, yep, Robbie Gonzalez. And I believe he is their top running playoff driver. Yep, that is correct. Second to him would be Frank Chilton. Or, and Sumdan, they're actually, actually, no, Sumdan has passed Frank Chilton. We're just talking about Sumdan. Won two in a row to finish out a regular season. And he's trying to come in clutch, make it to the round of eight, quite possibly win the title. Has never made a champ four appearances. We might have a battle for the lead here with uh, Azrael Dreamer taking the lead off from Vince Freeze. Yeah, They're going to lead like he... their first laps of I their career. He did get the line. Yep, the pass was made at the line. Yep. He Vince Freeze in a battle here on the bottom. Oh, yeah, that bottom lane definitely got a lot of momentum. But the high lane got enough speed. Our spectator cam's not bad. Ooh, that's a nice send by the three. He's going to stay behind him. Yep, Jeremy Frey. That's three wide for, I believe, seven. Yep, 85. Uh, Ryan, or, uh, Alex Tinker almost made the playoffs, but missed it by a few points. And Jeremy Frey, Phoenix winner, hasn't really gotten a lot of anything really since then. He's trying to Make the most of his season in the three car. Oh, he's going to go for the lead here. He's going to try. Oh, might get in the wall. He's got the run. He got the oh. run. Nope, he's going to hit the wall. Yep. Oh, and he's into the 25. Around goes the 11. They're crashing hey, in the front straight. Oh, 30's three, up the track. Oh, car, 72 right? involved. Oh, that is definitely. Caution's out. This is a terrible track to be racing on the bottom and getting plowed into, but you're seeing the 30 car come back up the track. I think they're right going into involved. Frank Chilton. Oh, this is not going to be good for his playoff hopes. Nah, some damn was able to evade right into the 93. Frank slammed to the wall. That's going to hurt. I don't think he did that much damage. No, but crushed into the wall for sure. 93 of Tusty Terror also involved. Nimrod was able to avoid our spring winner. Matthew Hill was also able to avoid, but other than that, really just the uh, 30, 93, and the four of Frank Chilton were involved in that second half of that accident. However, Vince Freeze, our pole sitter, was caught up as well. He doesn't appear to have much damage other than just um, from getting spun out, uh, but he, we'll see what happened here. Uh, so it but also, the three was also was involved, and also the twenty, I believe the twenty six, twenty five. Uh, Caden Williams. So, oh, the twenty five. Okay. All right. So let's go helicopter here. So it looks like the three. We seen him try to go for a pass, got into the wall, and that had that second line check up. Caden Williams had trying to slow up, ran out of room. Three came down into the thirty, in the eleven. Yeah. I think the 25 actually saved it, uh, but the three hardened the wall there. 
Yeah, Kitten Williams was actually able to save it, but Cooper was not. And he went right into the racetrack. And yeah, he right into the, he the 93. The yeah, right into the 93 and the 4. Shred with a little bit and of damage I think as well. Shard? This, okay, Shard did get a little bit of more damage. Yeah, I if think anything, Matthew Hill is okay. Moon Man is alright. Nimrod seems to be okay. The 48 seems did seem to do this like right at the bottom. Yeah, he was He's very. Like, I'm not even part of this. Yeah, very smart there by Eric Monaco. Now let's go back to live. Take a look at let's our DNF list, if any. It looks like uh, the three and the 72 are going to lap down. But oh, Thunder 24 fans going uh, out of the race. Oh, so the 72 was out. The 83 oh. is out. Looks the like three we have... is a lap down. What happened here? We have more out of the race than not. Did he plow into some cars? He's there must running. have been another incident. Must have been. Maybe we, Maybe we got did to review he... to see what happened. Did he crash into the back of the field? Oh, we had a checkup. Oh, the 83 did not slow down in time. We're right in the back of the 66 and a few cars back here just did oh, not Zig slow Zag up. Oh, is in it. Yeah. Then this, we have... Just uh, bumping under pacing. So, in time. so we were talking about Thunder 24 fan possibly... Uh, you know, advancing the next round. Now he's done for the day. So he's got that cushion for now. We just don't know how long it'll last. Um, so that's not good for him, but uh, Ezreal Dreamer, currently our leader. So that's going to be the 83, 72, and 3 out of the race. Everyone else is still in it. Uh, the 72, uh, I think he also was involved in that. But, uh, involved in that wow. checkup anyway, but, uh, Learn that everyone's still in the race. Everyone involved in that wreck is on the damage vehicle policy. We'll have to be careful. You know, caution, breathe, cautions. We got some damaged cars, specifically the 4 and the 93. Actually, the 93, I think, uh, pit, went to pit road, along with the 06, 55, 90. I think 97 is actually far back in the pack. But uh, the 30 yeah. has some damage. He was actually up front a little bit, and then Shred has some damage. So we'll have to watch these three back here in the mid-pack. Frank's got a good track position right now, but with the arrow damage, we'll see if it hurts him too much. He definitely is the second highest running playoff driver right now. He has one of them out of the race, but I don't think he's going to pass him today. We'll see what happens for sure. I'm going to go ahead and go to Pit Road to turn on double file or uh, our uh, green white checkers in the instance we need to use it. As we are going green this time, as a view from our back stretch, we're going to see the cars roll around here in just a second. But uh, yeah, we're going to go green lap 11 of 27. We've only had one wreck, currently three cars out of the race. That's Jeremy Frey. I already forgot. Jeremy Frey, Thunder 24 fan, and 72 of Essex Lovett. Thunder 24 fan plowed into a wreck under yellow, coming to the yellow. And then that's why he's out of the race, so... Unfortunate for him. Our pole sitter Vince Freeze was also caught up in the wreck, who was running second at the time. Uh, he uh, he's he's uh, fallen back in positions. I don't believe he had to go to pit road, but he's day for uh, 11. But unfortunately, got screwed over again. Yeah, that was a pretty bad wreck, but I think some of them might be okay. Yep. And again, we'll have to watch for. You know, cautions, breathe cautions. And we'll also have to watch this 43 car and Michael Guerra. Make sure not to jump the start. Um, remember, car length in between. If there is a space in between that is a car length long, that is a black flag. Oh, yeah. So you can jump the line. Or jump I mean, you start. can jump. You can jump. Just don't jump that far ahead. You have to... Oh, no, yeah. The timing here. is the thing. Let's see. And restart is good. Uh, 43 is going to lead it to the line. Get that lap. But uh, it'll be a clean restart. It's a 75 Azrael Dreamer. Really showing their first signs of really talent in this series. But you see the four car of Frank Chilton already falling back um, in the back of the pack. We'll have to hope these guys don't cause any yellows trying to sift through traffic. Um, but we know who's on and off pace already. 
Um, we'll, I don't think we're going to be needing to use any manual DNFs because I don't think there's anyone that far off pace. But Drimmer's still in the lead. You got uh, M Michael Giro in third versus second right now. The 54, Anthony McClure trying to get a pass down on the bottom. Is that 75? Maybe not able to hold that top lane as well. As you do yeah, have a little I... bit of breakaway in the mid pack, as Brenda Gonzalez is cracking in the top five, who was our star's highest starting yeah. playoff driver. Easy, yep, he definitely our highest playoff driver. And then not too far behind him, it looked like it's going to be Sundown, who was in the outside lane. Yep, outside lane does seem to be a bit quicker <laughs> overall, but we'll see how it all goes through. Now, Genji's Khan. Don't know if you know it's him, he's right in front of that. None oh, yeah, of those guys true. finished at Papyrus. Or, except for Space Guide, who's still in the race, but is not showing anything up front. Yeah, these are guys that badly need points actually in the front. Yeah, not really. They're just trying to gain advantage. Um, no one's really crucially out of the race that didn't gain any points last week. But Frank Chilton's not looking good. I'll say that. A nice run coming into turn number one. Yep. You can just kind of try to go three time. wide there. You get around that double zero to be the highest running playoff driver. He's going to try it here, but didn't quite get the run he needed. I don't Oh, you're going to use uh, the 25 of the draft, draft help. Oh, 43 in the wall. Ooh, this is, I think it was about four or five positions, but... Oh, yeah, he's going to lose a ton of spots here. Lots of... A lot of time. Michael Lowe. Good old Michael Lowe. Got to say, these guys are really... really keeping it clean at the moment. At the moment, they're keeping it somewhat clean. Take a look, make sure there's no one falling too far off the pace. Looks like everyone's decently ahead. Oh, a lot of cars in the wall there. One car is going to try to chastain it. Didn't quite. 07 also oh, attempted oh, it. Right. Neither were successful. No Hill Millen works at Miami. Oh, got two DeWalt cars right there. Anthony McClure Ooh. trying to get around the 75 on the bottom. Draft is definitely a thing here. As we're not seeing anyone pull away a whole lot. I was going to say the 54 may try to go low here and take the lead, but again, we've seen that bottom lane not be too sufficient. I'm going to try to get a bit of a momentum off turn number four. Yep. Uh, can you keep it into turn number one? Yep. McClure, he's our oh. Bristol winner. Pretty much dominated their race because bad setup, but here, getting a win here would be based de pretty decent. Got his first career win at Bristol, actually. Looking for a second win here today. Israel Dreamer looking for their first win. After a very mediocre season from that 75 cars, the one's going to try it again. Let's see if he hits the wall this time. Barely, but three wide for the lead. One to no. Ooh. Clifton's going to take it and lead first laps of his career, who's also far back in the standings. That was a nice pass by Clifton. Yeah, we've seen that top work, and we've seen it not work. The first time we didn't see it work was catastrophic, pretty much. Had that 30 car not came back up to the track, it would not have been too catastrophic for uh, Frank Chilton. But unfortunately, Frank has fallen back a decent amount. I wouldn't say he's in a horrible spot, but he's not in a great spot. He's able to hold off Nimrod right now and a few other playoff drivers, but eventually they're going to have to get past because he is a little bit off pace right now. I'm surprised to see Nimrod back here. They're usually running up front, but I guess one of them lacking races. Yep, uh, she's trying to get her... Pace, since he's running up the high lane, it's going to be hard to pass. Yep. As we go back to the lead, Noah Clinton still leads out there. Yep. The 54 going to get at the bottom, but as we know, at the high lane, now he the momentum off to turn number four. Yep. Yeah, that, they may start getting that work in here sooner or later. As those cars up top, they usually don't run as well. They may be able to pin him, pinpoint him, try to get him pinned. See Genji's Khan up here running in uh, second on the bottom lane. He's one of those guys that did not finish last week. He might be looking to make it three wide, but we'll see so what happens. To the middle. Yeah, that top lane though got a really good run into the corner this time. Yes, yeah, a lot of momentum coming off that turn. Yep, those t that top lane just too sufficient right now. No one really able to pull away. We're almost coming to the end of this race. We talked about it being a shorter one. 
And sure enough, it is. No, two guys, the top two on the top lane, looking for their first career win. With Neither of which have had a good season. Yeah, these guys are definitely trying to better their season. Do not count out Anthony McClure, though, on the bottom. He has been had some laps where he has been able to cook on that bottom lane. It's not easy by no means, but he's cooked some here and there. Especially when that 75 is not quite committing to that one car behind him, the pressure in my head. Yeah, he's best at the bottom, but it seems like the one car is better at the top. Uh, 75 is going to send it. Room for the 75. He's going to send oh. it. Put him As in the wall. Won. Ran out of room. Was tried it, but ran out of room in that 75 cars. There are three wide for second out. 75 still going to have the run on top, but he's going to pass in turn two. Did not expect that, as the one's going to get trained on the top. Nice pass there yeah. by the 75. Huge, big momentum there. I think the one may, it almost looked like the one had an issue, but how much momentum that top lane had for that 75 car, Ezreal Dreamer. Oh, yeah. I think he just got side drafted a lot. That would slow him down. That was a nice move there by Asriel Dreamer there to fake the lead in off a of turn two. Oh, I don't think it's over yet because the one is coming back. Uh, it's dogfight between these two right now. Coming to the closing laps of this race. And then McClurge is just lurking in the back, waiting their opportunity. Again, no one is quite far back enough to be an issue for manual DNF at this point. Five laps to go. Who's going to win this race? Might be less than that. <laughs> right Sh now with 75. But. Clifton is not done. Neither is McClure. McClure's just, he's been lurking on that bottom lane. He's been able to work, make it work here and there. I just don't know if it's enough on that bottom lane to get around to the front at the finish line to get the win. But he will oh, sure try. Oh, one car is going to send it. No, oh. on the heist. He's going to make it work. Clifton takes the lead. Oh, he's in the wall, though. And he will not get the run. We've seen uh, Dreamer do that, but this time Dreamer uh, still has the momentum on the top, whereas the one car did not uh, when Dreamer did it. Coming to the white flag next time by. Ooh, two laps to go already. This race does go fast. Clifton trying to get something going on the top lane. Webb's back there trying to cook. Battle for the current top playoff spots. Also shimmering with the 37 and the 63. Coming to the white flag now. Well, they're definitely cooking. Let's see. Can a one car get one more launch? Can I have one more chance off the turn number three and four? Let's see. You're going to have to set them up here. You're going to have to pass. Going to go for it right here. It's, it's, it's a stretch. Yeah, he's not got enough time. The 75, Azrael Dreamer. Coming off turn fourth for the final time. They're going to win it here at Homestead. What a race. It was a nice race. Azrael Dreamer, first career win. Who's the top player driver to get the top spot? I'll take a look at that. Uh, I'm going to... That Next screen. But, uh, yep, yeah, that was a pretty good race. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, top 10. There's top 10 there. Highest yeah. finishing playoff driver was indeed some Dan. Frank Chilton eventually fell back to 35th. Not the lowest finishing playoff driver, however. Potato Boy and Saber Fox also did not finish well, and neither did Zig Zagoon. And uh, obviously the 83 with that DNF. So Chilton is not last, surprisingly. But we won't go into that too far. And Space Guide, I don't think we'll be able to withhold that points gap they had. But they're looking pretty good for next week, nonetheless. Yeah, they're definitely closing in now. Oh, Dark, you got any last thoughts? Well, I think you might have. I think I was out of breath with that great finish from this race. Everything was perfect. Just, just Clinton didn't have enough there to the end. Yep, uh, Azrael Dreamer was able to get it. No, Clifton didn't quite have enough. But uh, in the end, Azrael Dreamer, first career win. Well, for me, Dark X Rain, 
This is the NCCRS at Homestead, Miami. We'll see you next week at the Tricky Triangle to decide who makes it to the round of eight.